What's up, guys? It is Jay Beebs here, and we are back with another episode of the New York Giants rebuild series. We are currently sitting on the season at 2-2. Two two. However, the team is becoming better. I feel like I feel like we're going to free sod sitting here with Daniel Jones. Mr. X is making some improvements. The, the overall team is making some improvements. Despite a pretty costly injury at middle linebacker, just the, the entire team in general is, in, is progressing well. We do have to make some big contract negotiations in this episode, as well as continuing with our potentially the best draft class of all time. And if you're confused as to why I'm talking about that, and you didn't see the last episode or two, I'll show you in just a second after we finish making Slayton an 88 overall wide receiver. Alright, so... Scouting this season is the biggest priority, because... That's how many draft picks we have. We have an insane amount of draft picks. And we are essentially just going to be looking to draft... I mean, obviously, two, two seconds, a first, a third, two fourths, a fifth, two sixths, and three sevenths. So basically, we're looking to steal the show with draft picks. We're, gonna, we're looking to find some of these later round players that have insane talent, but are just not projected to go as high. You know, we're looking for these you know, sleeper picks things like that in order to help this team evolve and obviously we also have to make sure we keep our core players and the players whose contracts are expiring and we do have a pretty healthy amount of players that will need contracts negotiated but most importantly we need to lock up J.J. Watt and Leonard Williams. Our two DNs, they're incredibly important to the team. As well as McKinney, our safety. Obviously, we have some corners that we have on the trade block. If we get an offer for them, we'll take it. But until then, you know, Hey, they're on the team. Seriously, we lost twenty to seven. Now let's take a minute to All right, well, there's an injury. Let's see what that is. Team. Hicks, our right tackle, ruptured his disc. How did we lose that badly? Wait, well, yeah, get Saquon involved. Like, if I were playing these games, this would be extremely easy, but since I'm not, it's, it's, it's tough watching this team struggle. Because they are such a good team. Like, this is a Super Bowl caliber team. It's just getting to the Super Bowl. Steven Taylor, a nice upgrade. Yep, Chase Young, man who has been terrorizing our team since we've been here. And we've yet to find a way to stop him. Then we spent all this week's draft picks on QB. Well, that was a giant waste of our scouting points. Because I don't think a single one of those players was actually worth drafting. So, he likes the bonus and the duration, just not the salary. So, we'll bump the, the salary. How about that? Alright, good. Send to Joy. 
Leonard Williams likes the contract the length, but that's it. Boy, I was going to say, I thought he was pretty underpaid with that offer. So he wants a better bonus. Okay, chill. And can't negotiate anybody else as of yet. So please, can we please just win a game for once? This team is too good to not be winning these games. Thank you. Well, yeah, I don't understand why the offensive coordinators or whatever aren't giving you the ball all the time, Saquon. Like, you are the now most important player on this team. See how you can improve your team. Breakout QBs. Dane Dime's finally going to break out. But it's not going to work out because we're playing the Eagles and they have Jair Alexander. And T is going to destroy us just because he is going to. I don't know why, but... No, it seems to be Daniel Jones gets a breakout game when we're facing an amazing passing defense. Well, yeah, he's... Jason Anthony is still out for a couple of weeks. He's still out for another week, but he's improving. Craig, at backup, is improving. Florence, our strong safety, is improving. Andrew Miles, our punter, we drafted. Or no, I think we were going to draft. I think we signed him as a undrafted free agent, but we were looking to draft him, but we decided not to. And Isaac Yidom. Alright, so got some college players. So what does the team actually need? We need linebackers. Actually, no, we don't really need linebackers. Okay, screw it. I'm just going all positions. Actually, we should, look, we should probably look at our second round picks. So we should look to go to the third round because obviously, hopefully we're a high seed. Third round, uh, yeah, we could do it with a safety. Added to help reel out a little bit. The thing is, there's always going to be, yeah, there's always going to be wide receivers. Like next, I mean, if we draft, if we we're able to get like three or four wide receivers that are good enough, we could sell away, we could trade away multiple players. Yeah. We're going to ignore Jair Alexander, so hopefully that means that the team, that the coordinators will call passing plays. So hopefully we can throw well and get Daniel Jones his star ability. Star development trait, because it's all we need. He's literally, it's been maybe, he'll be a thing for I think, three, every, pretty much every season now. But we do have a breakout player. Is that Bozeman? Yeah. Bozeman, two touchdowns. Well, these are slot receivers, so... Big injury decision. Doctors have cleared Evan Ingram. I didn't even know he was hurt. Yeah, we're starting the backup. I don't want Evan Ingram playing yet because I would like us to throw to our wide receivers. Now let's take a minute so they to stop see whining. Can improve your team. Oh, Ingram's. Oh, J.J. Watt just dislocated his ankle. And yeah, Ingram's out for a week. So that, he picked up a two-week injury, so that's, all right. Jason Anthony's back, though. All right. Players negotiating contracts. 
Leonard Williams. Salary and length are bon good, but the bonus could be better. All right, well, how about 7.6 mil? Deal? Deal. All right, great. And you're about to be upgraded. Um, yeah, we'll resign you got him. All right, he wants more money. I mean, I really just offer them whatever they say at the beginning. And then I'll just make improvements because I don't want to overpay for anybody. All right, players to upgrade. Xavier McKinney. Starting free safety. Dante Pettis, number one of our wide receivers. I think he's our number two wide receiver. Andrew Thomas, the left tackle. Getting up to 80. Like, the thing is, I don't understand how this team isn't like Super Bowl contenders. We have literally an amazing team. One of the best teams in the league. But we're three and three. Or three and four? Four and three? Three and four? Four and three? I don't remember what we are right now. Not winning, that's what we are. Yeah, we're literally th three and four. And as good as this team is, there's no way we should be three and four. Like, I think, like, we're running out of time to running out of time to really make a change. I hate to say that, but we're we're, just, we're truly running clocks almost out. Like we need to do something. Cause, I mean, this is what four seasons in. And, I mean, the team's an 83 overall. Like, do we have to, full, like, just not care about the defense at all and just have an amazing offense? And just go out there and slaughter teams? Do we need to get a new QB? Like, what do we need to do? Because I don't understand. We're literally 3-5. and five. makes no sense I don't understand like this team is so good we're a solid team we have amazing we have solid solid players is it just that we don't have star players? Is that what we need to do? Like, do we just need to sack off like half our team in order to pay the contracts for two star wide receivers? And then just have a team kind of support them? Ooh. Two steals in the fourth. Like those are the those are the players that we're looking for when we're when we're. That's why we that's why we got all these late fourth round fourth round and later picks. So, I mean, if we with our two thirds, we could take those two guys. That's all right. We got some contracts to deal with. So Darnay Holmes wants a better salary. All right, about two mil. All right, good. Contract length is good, but that's it. All right, so we'll give him three mil and a one point five million dollar bonus. Like I, 
Like, I think we have to go out and we have to get a star something. We need to get a big name player this coming off season if this team's really going to take that step into the next level. Well, that is going to conclude this episode of the New York Giants rebuild. If you have enjoyed, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And yeah, that's, I mean, that's really it. And it's Jay Beebs signing off. <laughs>